Now you understand the use of an envelope, or LFO, it's time to think creatively about what can modulate another modulator in some way. Here's a great technique to get a loose and lazy sounding LFO pattern, as opposed to the sync based performer pattern we just covered. Turn off sync for LFO 5, assign it to filter 1, and assign envelope 3 to modulate the rate value in a positive range. You want the LFO rate to gradually increase and decrease again too over a given time, while you hold down a MIDI note. Work with sustain at zero to start and get a nice ramp up and down with the attack and decay settings. Tweak the LFO rate setting and the envelope's modulation range to the lowest and highest rates you want to use. You can then decide to settle on a different sustain level so another rate is held after the decay period. The delay setting can also be useful here to offset the start of the envelope for a few cycles of the original LFO rate. Another technique is to modulate the LFO's amplitude with the same envelope too. The amp parameter controls the depth of modulation for anything the LFO is assigned to. Doing this will make the LFO stronger as its rate increases as well. Each LFO also has its own simple envelope with just attack and decay. If you want to keep other envelopes free for other duties, simply drag the internal envelope to any modulation slot in the LFO page. 